personal and professional growth personal growth refers to a situation in which we start the process of examining our life deciding as to how we are feeling what is missing and what can be enhanced we actively work upon our development through education new knowledge enhance awareness and specific changes we start critically examining our belief system and bring in new changes in it we sense our identity to one who is very closely resembles our natural core self we define who we really are what we are really good at and naturally talented in and what we actually desire in our life hmm. personality is a unique characteristic that determines the individual's behavior it comprises inherited and acquired traits and these traits make us different from each other we have to know and define these traits clearly in order to understand ourselves sometimes this is the reason why a person finds it difficult to relate himself with his environment here we will discuss about the self and self awareness self development and causes of stress and burnout in professional practices this discussion includes the techniques of understanding self the manner of communication in order to carry out effective functioning results of the development of professional self and attribution of professional personality let us discuss about self and self awareness growth is the collection of learned senses which make up an individual's ever developing personality as a person grows his personality develops personal development keeps on happening from birth to the last stage of human life individual's personality consists of three structures id ego and super ego the it represents our instinctual drives primarily sexual which we call the libido id is the primitive drive of a person ego is the real self of a person it understands what is and what is not physically possible super ego is our conscience which includes the moral values of right and wrong that are primarily implanted in us by our parents have you heard about the life instinct and the death instinct it is actually the libido and the mortido which refer to a form of energy belonging to the death instinct and analogous to libido Libido includes the urges that have to deal with the survival of a person unlike the mordido which is the destructive urge of man conflicts within us give rise to anxiety but the ego has a number of devices or mechanisms by which it defends itself talking about the development of personality it requires flexibility and willingness flexibility in terms of environment this is seen in how a person responds when things become difficult how quickly he is given to anger whether he is aggressive or docile flexibility refers to how a person conducts himself with different kinds of people or awareness of what is right and wrong willingness refers to the activity of partnering the susan behavior our behavior and personality are susan by us we can possess a good and bad personality if we like the decision is always up to us it will showcase our faith beliefs and higher values in life the task of developing a personality refers to the openness on someone's behavior 
it is a sense that cannot be determined only by age or growth alone but by our choice of character.